So a common problem we have today is that we have these big bulky gaming headsets that we don't want to carry around when we're playing Fortnite or any of those other games on our phone. So what, here's a little bit of a solution. These are a hybrid, and I would call this a hybrid for multiple reasons. You've got the ability to have a microphone in your head's phones, take it away, looks completely normal, and then add it back at any time and use it like any regular headphones. The other thing is these have an eight to 10 hour battery life which is practically unheard of, especially in these modern day headphones. Um, looking over here at the CloudFox H4. Um, while they do have a microphone built in, this one has a extendable, uh, movable microphone that you can practically just put around your mouth, go through there and play your Fortnite without any problems whatsoever. You can, people can hear you and stuff. So this is the, let me, let me, let me look at it, because I, I gotta make sure I get it. Coloto S. 802, which is basically a headphones that are practically designed for gaming, but they're also designed so you can listen to music, listen to movies, without having to have this atrocious looking little thing pointing down your face the whole time, so you can listen to your music. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be unboxing this, we're going to be sound testing it, we're going to be testing the microphone on it. Um, now, I want you guys to keep in mind a couple things though. This is a good idea. The microphone, I really would like to see this available for more people. Now obviously there's a couple other ways I would have done this. I would have had like a little rubber piece to go over it so you wouldn't get dirt and stuff in there. But let's be honest, this is one of those this first style headphones that I've seen that actually include, um, or actually been able to review, that include this option to remove it. Now yes, the CloudFox H4 that I reviewed a while back does have a built-in microphone and they did do a good job with the quality on this one, but I do think that the uh, this practically makes this a gaming headset. And I think that's, you know, unheard of, especially for the Fortnite gamer. I think this is a great, ideal option for anybody out there. So, without further ado, let's get into just the unboxing, the sound test, the mic test, so you can practically know if this is the thing for you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you the sound show, where we test all the different products across the internet for their sound quality. And this, this particular product, since we're doing two sections, we'll be doing the sound coming out of the earbuds into your ears rather than what you're going to be putting in that microphone get sent back, which is a whole nother story. So for 25 bucks, without further ado, let's get in to see how it compares. So what I've got queued up here is a bunch of different songs on my trusty phone. Basically what we've got here is the CloudFox H4, which are notorious for being bass boosted headphones that are a really nice high quality option that I've found in the past. Now these advertise as being deep bass which I guess we'll have to see how it goes because I'm a little interested to see how this sounds, the sound quality, things like that. And I believe these came in right around 30 bucks uh, to 25 bucks as well, right around the same price range. Now keep in mind though, these are not a gaming headset option. These do not have any microphone that comes out to your face. Yes, they have a microphone built in, but this is one of those first, that's a separate module right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test some sound, just give you my honest opinions on what it sounds like. I kind of try to play the same song so I really know what's up. And I'm just going to start doing that and see what we can get from this. So without further ado, let's just see what we got here. So sound quality right off the bat, I'd probably say is somewhere around a 6 to a 7. Now it's not the best that I've heard, and I mean the bass is actually surprisingly good. Um, I'd probably say that these clocked in right around a 9 to an 8, and I'd say these clock in probably to around um, 6 to an 8 as well, somewhere in there. Um, it's really deep. Um, I would say that the treble uh, could go for a little bit higher. These came in around a five. I'd say that maybe this is around a f well. These came in around a six. I'd say these are more around like a five to four, um, slightly lower than that. Now for twenty five bucks, what you're getting though with the microphone built in is a really good option. I just I'm I mean the, the it sounds really good. Uh, the just it's not the best. And obviously you know when you're going for uh, gaming headphones, you don't want the best if you're trying to get a microphone bundled all in this and for 25 bucks a headset that you know is this kind of discreet that still allows you to have that much flexibility I'm not arguing obviously every time you go to these lower end of budget options you're going to have to pick and choose what you're going for and I would say more this is going to be more of an overall you have a higher quality mic than you normally get on headphones you have a higher quality uh, you know you might have lost a little bit of quality on the sounds 
Um, but I mean, it's still overall, I would say it's definitely worth the buy. Um, the only downside is you just have to make sure you bend these out because they do put a lot of pressure on your ear. So make sure when you ever, you, if you decide getting this product, make sure you just bend out these cables because the pressure it puts on your ear does make it hurt after a while. So just make sure you, you take the time and effort just to make sure it bends out a little bit so you can actually hear what's going on and not have the problem right there. But yeah, I have no problem with it. And I mean, if you just bend it out like I just did, you have no problems with the ears and then it's all pretty much comfortable. So I would say though that I did, as I said, have to put a bigger earpiece in there so it would actually feel comfortable, but that's my only complaint. So here we are again, and I'm going to just try talking with the microphone a little bit away. Uh, we'll say maybe about three inches away and we'll see how this sounds, if it sounds any better or different. So in the end, should you go about buying one of these? Well. Let's talk about a few things. So you're going to be playing mostly video games on this and you want the ability and the freedom to go through and just have earbuds without any difficulty but still have the headset feature. So what we're going to do today is I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. I think this is a great option to do that. Now obviously the comfortability of this is difficult and the you know amount of work it does take to make sure everything's adjusted but it does offer something that's kind of unique that's not really available in the sense that you get a lot of freedom with this you wouldn't get with like a headphones um, you wouldn't get a dedicated mic you wouldn't get a lot of the ability to just take things out and do as you'd like so for just the ability just to have the option in the headphones i think it's definitely worth something considering especially because it's only 20 bucks and you know when something comes in especially at that price range that kind of fits exactly what you're looking for. It does kind of fit the mobile gamer vibe, but it also allows you to have, um, you know, the still ability to use it like headphones and uh, not have to worry about it. Even if you, you know, get out of Fortnite or something, you still have something that can last. And the quality is pretty much unbeatable. The plastic is pretty nice and everything just seems pretty high quality for the price range, of course. But um, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did, please give this video, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in buying this, please go down below and click the link in the description. It helps me out. Actually, I get some of the money that I can actually put to buying new microphones, better equipment, better lighting, on uh, paying for some of these reviews. So it also helps me out greatly. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.